Mag-coffee muna tayo kasi hindi magsisimula yung araw ko without coffee. So, let's have... Let's stuff. Let's have coffee first. Hi, my name is Steven. And I'm sure most of you guys don't know anything about me. Well, let me briefly introduce myself and how I ended up here on YouTube. Hmm. I've always had a passion to share stories, create visual content, take photos, capture moments, and basically something to look at in the future para maramdaman ko ulit yung naramdaman ko nung segundong yun na nangyayari mga bagay-bagay. But there were so many reasons not to make it happen. And to be honest with you, it was mainly because of me and my procrastination. I've always been afraid of what others would say, what other people would think, how funny I'd look, and how I would embarrass myself. But one of the biggest reasons why I never pushed for this was I never really had a good support group. My parents never really believed in the arts and they would rather tell me to work in a conventional way than work on my passion. Old school kumbaga. So I lived a typical life. I wake up early, go to work, sumahod kada quincenas, eat, hang out with friends, and sleep. For most people, this is a normal thing. But for me, it felt like I wasn't happy. I felt like there was something missing. And so the years went by, and since I'm not closer to pursuing my dreams, I diverted my attention into focusing in finding a partner in life. I was in a steady relationship for seven years. Siya yung naging sandalan ko and everyday life ko. Unfortunately, hindi siya naniniwala sa akin and what I'm capable of, and pinagtatawan lang niya ako every time I would try and do something I like. Lagi niya sinasabi sa akin I'm just wasting my time, I should just focus on work. For the longest time, I believed that. Naniwala ako sa sinabi niya. Time went by at nakipagiwali sa akin yung gagong yun. Wala raw direksyon yung buhay ko at kailangan niya munang hanapin yung sarili niya. Sabi niya, hinihila ko raw sa pababa and I wasn't helping. I was devastated of course. After namin maghiwalay, I went on a few flings, short relationships that never really materialized, and that only broke me into smaller pieces. I felt lost. Hindi na nga ako masaya sa trabaho ko. Hindi ko alam yung purpose ko sa buhay. Single pa ako. Kung mamalasin ka nga naman. Lumibas ang ilang buwan, meron akong nakilala. Everything was fine. I was working, he was fresh out of school and still figuring out what he wants to do in life. I was financially stable. We were in love. One day I told him that I want to pursue my passion. I wanted to be a vlogger. I wanted to make video content online. At first he was skeptical but I told him, I don't want to live an unhappy life. I'm too old to be unhappy. So he pushed me to do what I want, what I like. He supported me and I loved him more because of that. As months passed by, it wasn't easy. I wasn't earning. The videos I made weren't getting any views. No one really cared about my work and basically, I was vlogging for my own satisfaction. My money was dwindling and my ex was basically paying for most of our expenses. He wasn't happy about it. We fought all the time because of this. Napaisip nga ako eh. Bakit nung ako yung meron, okay naman tayo? Bakit nung ako yung gumagastos para sa atin, we never really had a problem? Bakit ngayon wala na ako, may problema na tayo? Shouldn't we be helping each other in this time of crisis? Nag-away kami one time at nung nagkayos kami, nagulat na lang ako, nakipagkita na pala siya sa iba at may kausap na siyang iba. <laughs> I think I'm back to square one because <laughs> nakarating lang yun dito tapos hindi siya ng closure and hindi ka pa rin matanggap. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's... And then we finally broke up. I was devastated once again. Akala ko siya na yung taong makakasama ko sa panghabang buhay. 
We were both fresh in doing something we want in life. And of course, it's not going to be easy because it's like learning how to walk all over again. But I was willing to hold his hand in this journey. Hanggang maging successful kami pareho. Hindi ba ganun ang partnership? Magtutulungan kayo and love each other unconditionally? Pero bakit when the moment got rough, binitawan mo yung kamay ko? Sabi niya he wants out. He said I was pulling him down and we weren't growing anymore kaya he left me. Parang pamilyar na to eh. Parang narinig ko na to lahat dati. And imagine that one person you trusted the most and pushed you to do what you want would suddenly leave you sa panahong walang wala ka. Isipin niyo na lang how crushed I was. I wanted to go back to work because of this. Iniisip ko na lang na baka hindi para sa lahat yung nabubuhay sila out of their passion. Baka may ibang tao na ginawa ng Diyos para magtrabaho na magtrabaho lang para sa iba. And just be happy with that. I was depressed for months and even had my very first anxiety attack. I wanted to quit life. I didn't want to wake up anymore. Pero pinilit ko. Yung mga taong minahal ko, iniiwan ako tuwing nahihirapan na sila. Did they really believe in me or sadyang gusto lang nilang i-prioritize yung sarili nila dahil I was so unstable at that time? So rather than throwing it all away, pinilit kong ipagpatuloy to. I dedicated my videos to my breakup and it made me stronger. Doon ko napatunayan na kahit nang gaano man kalalim ang sugat, with enough time, gagaling din yan. This is also the very first time where I have been single for 2 years and I vowed to myself na this time, uunahin ko muna yung sarili ko. Kung sila nga ilang beses nila pinili yung sarili nila over me, bakit hindi ko din gawin sa sarili ko? Falling in love traumatized me into thinking that someone can just easily drop you, tear your heart open, and leaving you powerless. Hindi na ako nakapag-vlog kayo na dun sa bilihan kasi bawal mag... merong no photography. Ay, shit, may bird ko nung kanta. You're the last girl on earth Well, I've got news for you I know I'm not that strong But it won't take long Won't take long I found comfort in creating videos. Documenting my life gave me the power to see how much progress I have achieved in the days that passed. Vlogging has become my outlet for my pain. And I stopped caring about the numbers, the views. I cared about how happy I am doing what I do. And I just don't want to stop. I transformed my pain into motivation. Sabi nga nila, the bumpiest roads often lead to success. Halos isang taon na rin ang lumipas at nagkaroon ng mangilang ilang tao na nanonood ng videos ko. And that made me feel like I was doing something good. Kahit pa paano, nagkakaroon ako ng impact sa buhay ng iba dahil sa mga videos na ginagawa ko. 27 na kong ginga lang! Ah! 3 to go! 3 to go! 99 na! 99 na! 99 na! 99 na! Oh my God! 99 na! 99 na! 99 na! Isa na lang po! Ano pa? Ang tagal naman! Isa na lang! Isa na lang? Ilan na lang? Isa na lang! 999 na! Ah! Thank you, Lord! Oh my God! 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9,10,11,12,13,14,15,16,17,18,19,20,21,22,23,24,25,26,27,28,29,30,31,32,33,34,35,36,37,38,39,40,41,42,43,44,45,46,47,48,49,50,
Okay, so ngayon alam niyo na kung kung paano ko napadpad sa ganitong lugar, kung paano paano ko na napunta sa ganitong mundo. Sana samahan niyo pa rin ako sa bagong yugto or bagong chapter nitong buhay ko. Alam ko na iba't iba yung landas natin, itatahak natin, pero definitely will will learn something from it. So sana masuportahan niyo ako, sana masamahan niyo ako. I don't know what lies ahead, to be honest with you. I'm scared, but at the same time, I am excited. Kasi na alam ko, after all the heartaches that I felt, I know that I learned something new from that experience. And parte na yun eh. I mean, naaalala ko pa rin sa from time to time. Naaalala ko lahat ng yun. But we'll never be the person we are today kung wala lahat ng yun. So, ayun. I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Uh, sana marami kayong matutunan. Sounds yan. Ayaw mag belt. We're back on the road! Ayun sa'yo, pagdadrive mo tanga, hindi pa tayo nakakarating sa destinasyon natin. We haven't had breakfast eh, so kakain muna. Kakain? Kakain muna kami. Kakain muna kami dito. We finally got here sa Lian, Batangas. It's a beautiful place. Kasi it's very secluded. Tapos makikita mo, ilan lang yung rooms na dito, air-conditioned rooms. Ang ganda naman place, I like it. I hope, makapagdala rin ako dito sa Monday. Mag-ulan? Ay, ano lang? Ano ba yung magkagat sa akin? Yes! Ang hard na makala mo naman lang ganda ng balat mo. Kaila mong ganda ng balat. Dumi kaya ng balat mo. Sure, ang ganda ng sunset dito. Tingnan mo, red na red. Ay, hindi nakukita mo sa video, but it's red.